Toy Chat is not a children's channel. This video is intended for adult gift givers and collectors. Hey guys, welcome to Toy Chat. This is Max. Insane. So we have a lot to discuss. It has been a wild and absolutely crazy doll season. So much has been coming out all at once. So much so that we've had a really hard time keeping up with reviewing and covering everything on our channel. Um, obviously we've been putting out a lot of Rainbow High content because, you know, we know a lot of our core audience, you know, really enjoys that stuff, but we definitely want to take some time to kind of overview the stuff that we haven't gotten a chance to talk about. Obviously, you know, it's late October and Halloween is rapidly approaching. You know what? By the time this video goes out, maybe it'll be Halloween day. So happy Halloween! <laughs> um, I'm gonna try to get this video up before Halloween, but you know, it just felt like a nice little time to just get all festive and catch up um, on stuff that we haven't reviewed. Yeah, and you know, it's appropriate because uh, LOL Surprise, which is definitely going to be the focus of today's video, has come out with so many products. You know, we were we were kind of on top of it for a while. We did review Dance 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 and, you know, um, Sweets and Spicy Babe, the BFF dolls, and we kind of just like, the tweens, we reviewed the tweens, and then we just kind of fell off from, fell off the bandwagon from there. But we're gonna just have a little discussion video today, and we're going to talk about all of the recent LOL Surprise and OMG products that have been out on the market. We have many of them here right now. We're gonna be unboxing in this video two of the LOL Surprise OMG Movie Magic dolls, as well as uh, both of the LOL Surprise Costume Glam dolls. We're gonna be unboxing Spirit Queen and Gamma Babe from the Movie Magic line, and yeah, both of the Costume Glam dolls, which very Halloween themed across the board, I would say. They all look like they're in costumes, <laughs> pretty much. So, you know, perfect timing. And yeah, we're just gonna chit chat, have an overview about just all the little surprise stuff that has come out as we unbox. We actually did do a big Halloween themed unboxing video last year, so you know, we're just keeping up that tradition. <laughs> so we're just gonna get this out of the way because they've these two have been out for a minute. This is the new wave of BFFs, which is, you know, it's kind of like the, the big sisters, I believe, of Tots who are in the Opposites Club. So it's like contrasting OMGs. We reviewed Sweets and Spicy Babe, but the, the newer ones who came out, they've been out for a while now, um, are Sunshine Girl and Moonlight BB, which we do have them. We bought these so long ago. We did. In, with the intention yeah. of reviewing them, but mm -hmm. yeah, life gets in the way. Yeah. But definitely, these two are gorgeous. I'm a big fan of them. It's really cool to have just like an adorable pastel cutesy doll and like a contrasting, like, you know, spooky, cool, like almost goth doll. So it's so funny because, I mean, something that is misleading because her outfit is very bluish purple here, but it's mainly black in person, I believe. Yeah, yeah, they didn't quite, of the pictures and stuff we've been seeing online of her, we, it, it doesn't capture the same effect as the, as the artwork, which is a bit unfortunate. But yeah, I mean, if you guys like really, really would want a review of these two, a full review, let us know. But I hope they keep up with like the BFF dolls, because they've been great so far, and I like yeah. the, just the, like, the contrasting concept. <laughs> so I think the main attraction of this video, and it's going to be the most time-consuming <laughs> portion, is we are going to talk about and be unboxing two of the movie magic dolls. We have Gamma Babe and Spirit Queen here. We're just going to open them up. So this line consists mainly, there's like a huge playset as well, but the core wave of OMGs consists once again of four characters. It's these two plus Starlet and Ms. Direct. Um, we only ended up picking up these two. Ms. Direct and Starlet are not completely our taste. We'll maybe get into that a little bit later, but the movie Magic Line is based off of and kind of in tandem with the first really LOL surprise like official movie. They have kind of dabbled in that sort of, you know, media before they did, I know, 
like the Winter Chill, which was kind of like a little bit more of a mixed media movie that had some live action portions and then like stop motion animation of the real dolls. But this is a fully animated movie. You can watch it on Netflix. Full disclosure, we have not watched the movie. I don't, I don't know. I don't know what it's about. I know that they like make a movie or something and these characters are in it. And you can definitely tell like the characters are all based off of kind of different genres of movies. Like, you know, it seems like Gamma Babe is of course, you know, like alien sci-fi kind of theme. And we have Miss Spirit Queen representing horror, you know? <laughs> so we're just gonna unbox these and just kind of overview our thoughts. Yeah. So I actually have already opened my um, Spirit Queen and the packaging is really nice. It's like a full playset. set. So nope. No, no, no. It's, this, How do we do this? Is, this is an activity. So you look for the number one, okay. and then you want to peel off number one. Peel off number one here. Yep. There's two number ones. And then you do that. Okay. And there's the instructions how to unbox. Okay. And then number two is here. So you lift up number two. Oh my goodness. And then number three, you have to you have to flip it back. This is cute. So this is like a pop up. It's like a movie theater. Oh, so you set it up. You, yeah. like, prop it up. Mm -hmm. okay. And okay. four is on the other side, which is, should be in a compartment, I believe. Wait, I want to make sure I'm doing this correctly. What, what am I doing? Yeah, that? you're pulling it up. Just pulling it off? I, yeah. Oh, um, do we pull out the compartment? Yeah. That's like, here we go. No. These things. Oh, all the stuff is inside here. Oh, is this gonna be the 3D glasses and all this stuff? Mm -hmm. So also some of the stand pieces are in here. So these are really expensive. This, this is probably the one that's expensive. OMG. We found these at Target and they are, I think they're $36.99. Mm -hmm. sure. Yeah. Um, there have been a lot of Target Target Circle sales lately though on toys. Or yeah. like get 25% off a toy. So all kinds of stuff, so be on the lookout. But yeah, I mean, it's definitely like a activity in order to open this. So I guess that's part of the fun of doing it. And they do come with technically three outfits. All right, so once you connect the little movie scene together and you stick it inside. Honestly, this isn't gonna be a super like formal review. We're gonna be unboxing them and talking about them, you know, and just having a good old Halloween time. 3D glasses. Still too small for my head. Uh, they fit me so well. It fits. Oh, I like yours. Are they diff oh, they're yeah, different? They're different. Yeah. Ooh, <laughs> this is weird. It is weird. It's like it's like sticking to my eyeballs. <laughs> <laughs> Do you look at these? Um, you should put them, you're supposed to put them through the slider. It's supposed to go in between the little tabs. Okay, so you connect the little seam pieces. Oh, and then you slide it in. Yeah, make sure it's in between the tab. And then, what do you do? You can view it. Okay. And then do you put on the glasses? I think so. I haven't tried this one yet. Yeah. No, <laughs> I don't know. I have no idea. We don't understand how this works. We're old and in the way. <laughs> I feel so old and in the way. Oh, I mean, you can like kind of. I don't understand. <laughs> so the doll compartment is actually really cool. It's a set tape. Oh, well, surprise always gives shout outs to the the '80s and '90s babies. So many millennial references. Mm -hmm. Sure, there's many people who collect LOL who have no idea what a VHS is. Oh, is the doll in here? Yep. Okay. So this looks super familiar with any, to anyone who collects OMGs. This is pretty much what the inside of the packaging looks like. So you got the doll, and then you got some garment bags, as well as like a shoe box. Oh, my damn babe looks a little splotchy. Oh, she's lovely. I like her a lot more in person than I was expecting to. Yeah, when I saw like the promo images of Spirit Queen, I wasn't sure how I was feeling about her. <laughs> I was like, that hairstyle looks 
very strange and like I may or may not enjoy it, but she looks nice in yeah. person. She's really fun. You had a pretty good one too. Uh, yeah, Gam Gamma Babe is kind of, her paint job is really bad. That's the one thing about OMG that I don't like. You can't really see the dolls beforehand. You can't really pick out a good one. Yeah, it kind of sucks. Yeah. Um, ooh, I like her little curls. Yeah. Yes. I love how her hair is structured in the back right here. <laughs> the way it looks in the back is hilarious. This Gamma Babe is almost like return worthy. Her face paint job is really bad. She has like splotchy lips, splotchy eyes. What are you gonna do? It, you know, it would be, I don't know, it would be really nice if they started releasing OMGs where you could actually like inspect the doll from the, or at least the face. Like, you know, they could just have little like, like peekaboo windows where yeah. they just show the face. Yeah, and the rest would still be a surprise, yeah. you know? Yeah, exactly. That. I just, it, it's a little hard as a collector to like buy these and be like disappointed with the one you get. These are really expensive. So I can't see if like collecting them all will be very expensive. So definitely they do go on sale. So wait for a sale if you can, if you're trying to collect them all. I don't, like for us, I don't think it's necessary to collect them all. Yeah, I mean, as, as I mentioned, we skipped two of the characters. So Starlet, she, it seems like she's supposed to be, she just kind of represents like Hollywood and you know, kind of like the film industry in general. And some pieces on her are really nice. Like I love her. Her, you know, multicolored sweater and her second outfit is super cute. The little like she's the very white. Front. She's well, isn't she kind of like she almost looks like comic book. Yeah, like it's funny. It's like it's funny. It's a cinematic theme, but I get much more comic book mm -hmm. vibes from like her very the very harsh lines and her lipstick and how it's just very like like a graphic kind of design on her face. The unfortunate thing about Starlet is there's a lot of really cool aspects to her, but I feel like she doesn't. She's like too many concepts at once. Mm -hmm. Like I feel like she doesn't work as a cohesive whole. Mm -hmm. And Mr. Act is just, she's just not for me. She's, she's a little, I feel like she, you know, she obviously it's like, I guess she's kind of supposed to be representing like a director, but it's also like she has, she's kind of like a half and half, like two tone kind of theme where she's half, you know, half behind the camera, half in front of the camera, which I think is a cool concept, but her, I think her design just doesn't pop as much as you know a lot of the other dolls in this line. So I would say overall, yeah, this this movie magic, the movie magic OMGs are kind of a little bit of a mixed bag. You well, know. there's also those OMGs that came in that large playset as well. Yes. Again, I think really what you're paying for with those huge playsets, it's kind of similar with the um, the ultimate surprise or the the hue from the remix series, you know, which we reviewed. You're in part kind of paying for the experience, you know, the unboxing experience. Although that one in particular, the one from the, you know, the deluxe set from the remix line, there were no corners cut on those OMGs. Mm -hmm. Like those OMGs were all gorgeous. You know, and I think in general, I think the remix line too set a really high standard for the OMGs yeah. because it just like, all of them were so good and so nice. So something about the Spirit Queen is her skirt here. There's this like cheerleader looking one. And if you flip around, it has a, like a back side that you can use too. Uh, so there's spider webs. On yeah, the other side. yeah. So there's Velcro on both sides of the skirt, so you can use either side, which is really cool. That's super cute. Yeah, and Miss Gamma Babe over here, I love her hair. Absolutely gorgeous. It's like an icy lavender, and there's like you know, kind of like a really pale silvery blue intertwined in that. And they're like curly pigtails tied up in some braids. Huge fan of her hair. That was like one of the main reasons I wanted to get her and she's wearing, you know, this top, this midriff bearing, you know, futuristic top that's barely covering herself. Of course, per usual, we need to unbox the rest of this stuff to fully dress them. Oh, there's three garment bags. Yeah, because you said that how many outfit swaps are there? There's technically like- There's two, uh, there's two, outfits plus the, the garment that she's wearing in box, so technically three. But this is my favorite outfit for Spirit Queen. She's a spooky cheerleader. <laughs> she got spirit. Oh, this is so cool. Look at that like soap bubble 
effect. Uh, That's gorgeous. Gamma Babe's clothes are everything. I love, yeah, this little like iridescent soap bubble design on her skirt. Is this two pieces? No, it's one piece. Mm -hmm. Is it reversible? No. No. Okay. no, but it's lovely. I really like this. I'm done. Yeah. <laughs> I have all of the other outfit. Mm -hmm. uh, that one was, I mean, that one was kind of cool. It's more theatrical mm -hmm. with like the long skirt and crazy top with like um oh it's like a corset, corset. it's like a yeah. corset kind of yeah yeah and, and there's glitter on her glass sunglasses i love her little glasses yeah so it is cool but i prefer this look like the more cutesy look but the other one is very dramatic Ooh, i didn't even i was not even paying attention to this look oh what functioning zipper Functioning wow. zipper. Okay, Crazy. that's some integrity toys level detail right there. <laughs> Crazy. Okay. That's where the thirty six dollars. That's where your thirty six dollars goes, or your thirty seven dollars. You know, it's really interesting too. Usually, when you do see functioning zippers on uh, Playline dolls, like on Barbie Extra, it's usually really oversized to make mm -hmm. it look easy. This is this is a little more. To scale, it's like a kind of a smaller so. Oh, cute! I brought her jacket, her uh, little um, almost like varsity jacket. Oh, is it iridescent? The spider webs? Um, they're, they're shiny. They're shiny, and I think they're not. They're not iridescent, but they're shiny. Is, it, is this sheer? Sheer. Yeah. <laughs> it's sheer. <laughs> it is sheer. Yeah. It's like puff sleeves. It's a bit sheer. That's cute. There's so many clothes here. I know a lot of people are making the comparison Gamma Babe is giving some heavy vibes of, uh, that she gives vibes of like break free Ariana Grande in with her look. And I like her little robotic hands, although joint pegs look problematically loose. <laughs> okay, now I'm done. Ah, oh, she's so cute. Oh, she's so yeah, this is her best look right here. Yeah, absolutely. Perfect for Halloween, a little Halloween doll. You know, I love that. I love that. Ella Surprise is doing that. You know, doing like Halloween dolls pretty consistently for a little while now. To um, you know, obviously we have they have the popularity to be able to do that. Yeah, yeah. Because I know we see a lot of representation as like like Christmas themed, you know, dolls and stuff like that. But I, ooh, I'm a big fan of Halloween, so. I like that we're seeing a little more representation there. So yeah, they also come with the usual little foldable magazines. Gamma Babe knows what to do. Time to beam down to LL Surprise Studios and walk the pink carpet. Okay, I am a big fan of her completed look. I think something that works really well with the OMGs just pretty consistently is this series takes a lot of risks, I think, in terms of just the aesthetics and the fashion pieces, you know, and things are so detailed. Um, I, you know, I, I think because they take so many risks, it's, it's like, yeah, not every single thing is gonna hit, you know, for everyone, and there's just, you know, and there's just, you know, and there's so many releases you know, just coming out rapid fire, you know, that it's like, if you don't like one line, you'll probably be okay. There's, you know, there's more coming, but these two are super cute. They're definitely adorable. And, you know, they come with a lot of options for changing them up. She's my favorite. Yeah, it's Spirit Queen. She I, reminds me of Monster High, is my line. She is very Monster High. Like her shoes are very Monster High. They are. Like Draculaura. They are, they're very Draculaura. You know, she's got that little, pink and black thing going on. I think I would be absolutely in love with Gamma Babe if I didn't get a super splotchy wonky one, so. And that's it, we're not gonna dress up in the second outfit. <laughs> Gamma Babe, it's pretty much just like you can kind of accessorize her a little bit differently. There's just like a little purple jacket and you know, like a little silver pair of booty shorts. So you can kind of take off, you know, the like the iridescent soap bubble pieces, but it is cute, it gives them like little different looks. Yeah, I mean, while this is $36, $37, you are getting quite a lot of few things. You get a lot of activity out of just one purchase. So I can see kids or adults, whoever, can, you know, spend a lot of time with just one of them. So, 
Yeah, I mean, I think it makes sense too because obviously LOL Surprise has really marketed itself on, you know, you're not just paying for the doll itself, you're paying for an unboxing experience, you know, and just kind of an activity, um, which I don't know though. Something I appreciate about LOL Surprise and OMGs is even though you are getting value out of the activity unboxing aspect is, you know, they aren't cutting corners with the dolls. Cause I feel like a lot of other doll and toy releases, but like if the focus or value add is on the activity side, it's like the toy or doll itself is usually like kind of basic, yeah. <laughs> but, but you know, they are not doing that with OMGs. There's even more pieces, you know, I think we're done. And then there's just, there's more, yeah. I mean, this is why, like I said, this is just intended as an overview, this is not going to be an in-depth review, but it's, there's so many different pieces here, you know, it's like Yamabe has earrings, she has, oh, her laser gun, I love her laser gun, it's so adorable. Does she have glasses too? Of course she does. Two glasses. Two glasses? glasses? No. Oh, a visor. A visor. Oh. Wow, she has like a oh. huge visor and a pair of glasses that are very interesting looking. It's alien it's like, like alien eye shaped. She's super fun. I am a big fan. So yeah, let us know what you guys think of, you know, movie magic in the comments below. We'll try to show, yeah, just like some footage of as much as we can. All right, so next we are going to unbox the directly Halloween themed LOL Surprise costume glam dolls. Um, and these are classic tots. And we personally have not seen these in stores at all. I ordered these on target.com. They are priced at $10.99 each. So yeah, we'll provide links below if you guys wanna order them online. Uh, you know, not much time left for, you know, before Halloween, but this seems kind of like a, an indirect follow-up to the Spooky Sparkle dolls from last year. It's just a pair of, you know, Halloween themed tots. And this time around, it's they're just like in costumes. We have one dressed as what looks like a magician and the other as a little kitty. The thing that's interesting though is in the Target listings, the magician looking one with the hat is listed as being named Baby Cat. The other one is being, the pink one is being listed as Countess but she is wearing cat ears mm -hmm. and is like dressed as a cat. So I don't know if, if their names are reversed. You know what, we don't know. The packaging on these is absolutely adorable. You know, like the Spooky Sparkle dolls, it's like, I kind of want to keep one unboxed. <laughs> In box. Uh, yeah, like, uh, yeah, just not opened because mm -hmm. it's just so cute. There's like little lollipops and candy corn and it's kind of glittery. But we're just gonna get started. Okay, so it's uh, what? So there's a riddle. What do you think it is? Mm. Best boo. Ah. Best boo. Mine is dress up. Pretty much your your classic LOL surprise tots experience. Oh, I love this color. So what's interesting is, yeah, these, they, they come in the little pumpkin balls that are reprints from the Spooky Sparkle dolls, which, yeah, I'm a huge fan of this little pumpkin ball sculpt. It's absolutely adorable. I love this pink color. Yeah, the kitty one comes in a little, like, pink pumpkin. And our little magician with whiskers girl comes in... This is, it's like a it's lighter, a lighter, a lighter kind of orange than the Spooky Sparkle ones. Yeah. So you have to like squeeze it <laughs> and open. I love it. Adorable. Uh, we have our little spooky packaging. So cute. Oh, I love the hat. Adorable little hat. Yeah, mine is completely covered in glitter. I was, I was, I thought like the skirt portion would be uh, flopped, but it just oh, it's not. Yeah. Oh wow. Yeah, in the promos, it, it makes it look like her skirt's supposed to be flopped. But... Yeah, this is just covered in glitter. Just, oh yeah, bleeding, bleeding glitter. <laughs> glitter. Oh my god, everywhere. Yeah. You know what? It looks like so. Are they are they both cats? 
I, one's like a magic cat. Oh my god, what happened to you, girl? What's wrong with her? Wash, like there's glitter. Oh, like her makeup's kind of splotchy. Yeah, it's not too bad. Yeah. It's just a lot of glitter. It is, yeah, her face was covered it's in a pink lot glitter. of glitter. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, their base little looks are super cute. It's just kind of like, uh, you know, little tiger stripes and like a little suit. Pretty adorable. Okay, so yeah, we're just gonna get these little tots fully dressed. Okay, this is some of the most ridiculous amount of glitter like I've ever seen I, on an LOL. Like this, this is excessive. That's my first commentary. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I really like glitter. I, I like what they did with the glit, the glam glitter, or glitter glam, where it's like again, yeah, like tasteful amounts of glitter, but then they just use like the metallic paint job. Mm -hmm. I prefer that to just like, let's just drown it in glitter and like see how crazy we can get. They do also, once again, come with really cute little Halloween themed stickers. Oh, no, you know what? Confirmed. Okay, where we stand corrected. The, the little magician looking one, her name is Baby Cat. So, wow. so I guess the pink girl's name is Countess. Yeah. They're, they're, <laughs> so they're both cat themed, apparently. Yeah. Uh. Glitter. It's really bad. Yeah, this is this is too much glitter. Baby cat's cage skirt is a little tough to put on. Baby cat's hat is structured in a way where I can't fit the pieces into both hmm. loops, unfortunately. <laughs> Tomato juice. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Her bottle is tomato juice. She should have been a vampire. I mean, have tests would make more sense. That's true. Yes. Yeah, the theme, the theme in here is all over the place. Cause she's she's a vampire. She should, oh, yeah. yeah. uh, whatever. She's cute. I like her. Mm -hmm. It's covered in glitter. Yeah. She is very cute. Um, I do like these two. I, you know, I definitely think they're cute. I think overall, I probably prefer last year's mm -hmm. Spooky Sparkle. I think was a bit better. All right. What was her bottle? Oh, it's in the bottle. Oh, it's just a little milk. Yeah, so she's so much more, like, directly cat-themed. Yeah. Yeah, so she's cute. I do like them both. I think they're very cute. The glitter is just too Way much. much. Yeah. Um, so, you know, if you happen to be a collector or a parent buying this for your kid, be aware that glitter is going to get absolutely everywhere while you're unboxing these, but they're very adorable. Mm -hmm. um, I definitely hope, you know, it feels like LOL Surprise has is just a super festive brand in general. Like mm -hmm. they've, they, you know, they've done like Christmas tots, they've done, you know, New Lunar. Year's, Chinese Lunar New Year kind of stuff, which I really like, you know, I'm... I'm they like the thematic stuff, like um, teachers and... Doctors. doctors yeah. And, yeah, I really appreciate that. You know, I'm, I'm a big fan of thematic dolls and, you know, thematic stuff in general. And we did, um, you know, we've also been finding series two of the LOL Surprise Boys Arcade Heroes. Um, it's funny, that series, like, the rare is always a girl. Oh. <laughs> but, you know, we found two of them. Uh, probably not going to be unboxing them in this video, but I'll maybe, if I do open them, I'll show, you know, some footage or images here. Uh, are you guys into the arcade heroes? I am quite a gamer myself, so I'm really into, like, gaming themed, you know, kind of dolls. Um, I appreciate the fact that you don't have to guess what's inside to let you know right away. Yes, that's a huge plus. Yeah, I mean, there's just so many all surprise products out right now. Um, you know, the one other thing. Well, LOL Surprise, or the LOL, LOL brand, covers like a whole aisle at Target. Yes, yeah. it's just crazy. They're everywhere. Another thing that was released recently, and this was, it's part of the the Movie Magic line, is a two-pack, the Movie Magic two-pack with Tough Dude and Pink Chick, who are very, very like, like, Grease-themed, mm -hmm. kind of, like, you know, like a date night pack, and it means we get another boy. This is only the third boy, you know, OMG boy we've ever gotten. Initially, when, like, when these leaked and people started seeing them online, um, we only saw the art. And I have to say, when I saw the art of Tough Dude, I was like, 
oh my gosh, I was like, this might end up being my favorite OMG boy. But I think the doll, uh, we, don't, we do not have him on hand, um, but he's available now on the official surprise website. Link it below if you guys wanna check it out. The doll doesn't have the same effect or just like impact of mm -hmm. the art. Um, I do like their secondary looks. That's the funny thing with just MGA products. They're like, if you don't like the first look, there's a whole other <laughs> second look or third look. I'm a big fan of their secondary looks with, uh, yeah. The, like, sus the suspenders and kind of more nerdy look. Yeah, and his little glasses. I don't know how I feel about how his hair is styled. Hmm. Um, I might need to experience him in person to make kind of... I mean, you can't really experience them in person because the packaging covers it all up. Yeah, I'm really... You have to buy them. Yeah. I'm really curious how married, uh, like, MGA is to the idea of keeping LOL Surprise very much, like, a blind box-centric brand. I mean, they're already releasing so much stuff. Like, oh, there's the New Year's Eve, like, collector doll, mm -hmm. who, obviously, those ones, of course, you know, you can completely just see them. Um, she looks lovely, by the way. We've seen her in person recently. She looks very fun. But yeah, I mean, quite a few options out right now, um, you know, and there's, I mean, there's even more stuff coming. So there's also a line of OMGs coming themed after world travel. And, you know, there's three dolls. One of them, she literally is giving me like Briar Beauty vibes. Yeah. One that's been creating a lot of buzz is she's themed after Britney Spears, specifically in her iconic look, you know, playing Marilyn Stewartess in the Toxic video. Um, and funnily enough, she's the big sister of Oops Baby, the, you know, the Britney Spears inspired tot. Um, I think she's really cute. Mm -hmm. I'll probably be picking her up. There's another character in this line, I'm having trouble finding her name right now, but she has like uh, braided twists and a top knot. She looks very just like beachy, like vacation. Um, she has a cute like sunset eyeshadow. Um, this line looks cute. Um, I don't know if it's like must have territory for me. Oh, her name's Sunset? Yeah. Oh, here we go, okay. So, so their names are Sunset. City Babe, and Fly Girl, the Britney Spears one. Oh, is there only three in this way? Mm -hmm. mm. Yeah. Yeah, there might be like a playset or something. Uh, I'm not sure. You know, yeah, and there's, you know, there's also, there's stuff on ver varying price points as well. You know, you guys have probably been hearing a whole bunch of folks are already finding a little surprise OMG budget dolls, you know, uh, the swim line, which is just, you know, um, Coastal Cutie, Paradise, VIP, and Coral Waves. Um, and they just come in these sleek little boxes and they're just like in swimsuits. Um, people are finding them like Ross. Yeah, and there's like variations of them, like one with articulation and one that's completely just like the five point articulation, so. Yeah, it's kind of strange. Yeah, it's weird. I mean, I would love them for them to keep their articulations, but it seems like moving forward, the, variation, the var variant version is the articulated version. Yeah. Yeah, so I would be on the lookout for that if you guys are, you know, hunting down the budget dolls. But yeah, I mean, it's nice to see that a little surprise and OMGs are kind of venturing into that ter territory because these these deluxe ones, it's like we're getting to a point where like the baseline is like 30 bucks, like yeah. minimum, you know, and I, I know people are not necessarily going to want to be taking that plunge. So it's, it's cool that there's more affordable options. But yeah, just where are you guys at? You know, what are you feeling with just all the different stuff that LL Surprise has been coming out with, with TOTS and OMGs and tons of other stuff, you know, um, I, you know, one of the biggest issues we had initially with LL Surprise and OMGs, um, aside from the fact that yeah, just the, you can't, the quality control issues, you have no way of avoiding it because you can't see the doll ahead of time, um, was that there just wasn't really any sculpt variation because just all the OMGs use the same sculpt. So I am grateful they've introduced a boy sculpt. Mm -hmm. um, you know, it would be cool if we could get more, you know, variations and stuff like that. You know, we did review uh, Cool Lev and, you know, his packaging and the logo definitely implied that the OM guys like that the boys are going to be a whole line so hopefully more boys are coming that would be nice well it seems like omg is releasing or mj is releasing all their holiday merchandise right now we talked about it before with like uh the shipping issues so i think we're gonna see a break from these releases 
be on, you know, the World Travel collection. I think their whole idea is more product out, the more likely you will buy something. It is a bit as concerning if you miss out on certain, a certain product, you might not ever never see it again. But they're, I guess, OMG is, OMG, oh, MJ is the company that kind of does that thing where they re-release something, but you have to buy, like, the deluxe package. Uh, I know, like, Series 2 currently is out right now as, like, a four-pack. It's a lot of products. I, I can't keep up, to be honest with you. Yeah. I mean, it's all, it was just kind of interesting, too, just the timing of all this, because I, I felt a little bit like, I was like, is MGA kind of, like, like cannibalizing its audience a little bit? Because it's interesting that all the new Rainbow High products, like, the big deal, like, core new lines came out at the exact same time as so much new LL Surprise product, which, I mean, granted, you know, I'm sure there's only so much that can be controlled in terms of design to distribution, um, you know, and obviously... It's different teams. It's different teams, and it's also, um, with the shipping crisis going on, you know, which we've already addressed in a video as well, um, you know, stuff just needs to be sent out and sent to store shelves as they're able to, um, but yeah, as Singh said, I think there will probably, hopefully, for the sake of our wallets, you know, be a little bit of slowdown by the time, like, January hits and stuff like that, so everything's just kind of crazy right now, mm -hmm. but, yeah. We have done a lot of Playline stuff within the last few months, so we might shift gears towards some of the adult collector items from Integrity Toys and... You know, we have a backup catalog of other stuff too that we need to review and look for from our content from us. Let us know in the comments what how you guys are feeling about all the new LL Surprise, you know, tots, LNGs and beyond, merchandise that is out right now. Do you have any favorites? You know, are you gonna be hunting down any of the stuff we unboxed today? Definitely let us know and you can check out our full LL Surprise playlist if you want to check out all of our other videos on this channel. So hit that like and subscribe button if you haven't. Let us know what you want to see next on our channel. Make sure all of you have a very happy and safe Halloween. And we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.